Denise Rojas, and I'm sitting next to a huge Sterling engine. Got my piston, my steel rod, and my flywheel. Dan's going to be showing you how to power this engine with the Fennel lens. So this one's a uh, circle cut Fresnel lens. It's 15 inches in diameter, so it should be more than enough power for this. This single piston Stirling engine is sometimes referred to as a lamina flow Stirling engine or a thermoacoustic Stirling engine. The secret to this engine's function is simply a heating element expanding air which moves the piston while simultaneously expanding to the outer portion of the steel wool and metal ring. Absent of a heat source, the air contracts concentrating the molecules to be reheated over and over. One interesting characteristic of these engines is the fact that they do not require a flywheel. This engine will operate in a linear motion if the flywheel is removed. While the critical parts for this engine are very simple, a Pyrex tube, stainless steel wool, and a graphite piston, making one can be a tricky task. The steel wool needs to be placed in an exact position depending on the diameter of the tube being used, and the heat needs to be applied to the sweet spot, just where the steel wool is. While this engine is a lot of fun, the power output is not all that impressive. This engine can, however, be scaled up to just about any size. 